Hey, 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 you, hey, you, hey, smell this flower. So you have chosen death. Allergies can suck my ball. A butt ton of people around the world have allergies. And all of them are dumb, including mine. Grab a notebook and stay with me. It's gonna better get a bit dry. Allergies, according to Google, are a damaging immune response by the body to a substance, especially a particular food, pollen, fur, or dust, to which it has become hypersensitive. Basically, your body tries to nuke itself to stop a perceived threat. We're getting a two more dry territory here. Stay with me. The most common types of allergies are drug allergies, food allergies, contact dermatitis, latex allergies, <laughs> allergic asthma, allergic rhinitis, animal allergies, anaphylaxis, and mold allergies. A real motley crew we have here. They can be inherited from genetics or can be developed by themselves. And let I regale you to how I found out I'm allergic to cats. I, your rooibos loving rambling red boy, went to my friend's house to crusade to play some video games. So then we get to his place and when I open the door to his living room, I see a weird lumpy towel. And I walk up to him and ask, what's with the weird lumpy towel? To which he responds, not a weird lumpy towel, it's a cat. And why are you whispering? And then I got like, and I just got excited and walked up to the cat and pet him. It was really comfortable with me petting it. Cute, really nice cat. Mm. Look at that. Look at that frame. Stunning. Back to the story. So then after petting the cat, I proceed to the war room. We play a couple of hours of gaming, during which I realize that my nose is blocked. Curious, but whatever. I can play with the handicap. I'll die later. After the game, I head home and drank some Elegix. The next day, I repeat the same thing that happened yesterday. But this time, I call the cat over. Brought it really close to my face. My eyes started watering a bit, and my nose got a little bit irritated. So now, of course, I'm thinking, I might be a little cat, but I cannot be jumping into conclusions. Thus, I must perform a scientific check. One check that is of the highest degree, one that Harvard, Stanford, in fact, NASA will be proud. So then I brought the cat closer to my face, and... If you smell what a rock is cooking. Yeah, I basically snorted a cat. Mm-hmm. And in that moment, my brain, my body, just basically my entire being was attacked by my nervous system. And the allergies were trying to end us right there and then. So then I'm, I said to my friend, excuse me one moment, good sir. I'll be right back. Bolted to my house, got the allergics. <laughs> drank enough to stop the allergies but not knock me out because that stuff is strong and i survived my scientific test you know another allergy added to the table would have never really bothered me much because finding allergies is just par for this course for me if it weren't for the fact that i almost adopted a cat a calico cat it was really cute i liked it it was warming up to me here's how i found it i was at home during the winter and I was supposed to clean the back of the house. So I'm just cleaning the backyard and then I see a cat. I look at it, it looks at me and then I call it Hither. It comes over and I'm like, freaking hell, it's a really cool cat. So I, I tell it to stay, go inside the house, get some tuna and I brought it out and it ate the tuna. Now, yes, the allergies did flare up during the time, but because it was winter and like allergy season, I thought it was one of the other allergies I had. So I was like, ah, oh, freaking hell. But then after that test, I realized I can't keep the calico cat. And she was so cool, man. I would bring her food. She'd sit next to me. I'd pet her for a bit and she'd sleep on my lap. And then when the whole, and then when all that was left, when all that was done, she'd run off. And I'm like, one day I'll tame you. Maybe I should, maybe I should have brought up a pokeball. <laughs> I was gonna name her Christopher because at the time I thought she was a dude and you know calico cats only happen to be female upon further research but now I can't even keep her near me because my body will basically kamikaze itself to keep me safe. I guess the moral of this story is 
German is the best language to call cats in. Yeah, German always works. Well, hello there. You made it to the end of the video. Thanks for watching. I have like a little question. Why are allergies a thing? Like I know why, but... But why? I'd like to hear your guys' allergy stories or if you have allergies or if you're the lucky few to have the immune system that actually works properly. Even in the comment section below. Like this video and share it. It really helps spread. It really helps grow the channel. I appreciate the help. Again, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. God bless. I'll catch you on the flip. Take a listen to this outro music. I don't know if it's copyrighted or not, but if it's still copyrighted after this video, it's gone. So just enjoy it for this video. Come on. Come on. I'll spoil you guys. Come on.